everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And for today's review, we're going to take a look at the new DC Comics Multiverse 6 inch The Flash TV series The Flash figure from Mattel. Now, this figure comes packaged in the same style of window box packaging we've been seeing with all of Mattel's Multiverse figures. You've got the Flash TV series logo up at the top, you've got that Multiverse logo, and then you've got the figure clearly displayed in the window box packaging. Down below, you have an image of the character from the TV series, the character's name, and it also tells us it comes with the Collect and Connect Justice Buster piece. On the side of the packaging, we have another image of the character from the TV show and a brief bio. And then on the back of the packaging, we have a bio for the Multiverse line, a look at the Justice Buster figure, and all the figures that you need to get in order to complete the Justice Buster. So right now, the TV series Arrow figure, the TV series Flash figure, and the Joker figure have been released. And then the Batman figure, the alternate universe Superman figure, and the reverse Flash figure have yet to be released. They'll be released at a later date. And once you have all six, then you can put this Justice Buster uh, together. Okay, so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. So here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. Now the only accessories this figure comes with are the, those Justice Buster Collect and Connect pieces. So you actually get two with this figure. You get these, uh, I'm going to call them shoulder pads because it's not really a torso. There's no place to connect the arms or anything on this. And it's just a, kind of a, a rubber type material. It's not even hard plastic. And so you've got some detailing with the sculpting. Uh, you got some scratch marks and everything. You've got the little bat symbol here down at the bottom. You've got these spiky things up at the top. And again, they're just soft plastic. So you can see they've gotten a little bent in the packaging. Um, you do have a ball joint for the head. And then they also give you the head with this figure so you can pop the head in. You kind of have to push it in. So the head doesn't have a whole lot of, uh, well, actually it's got pretty good movement and a pivot and look left and right and it's got some down movement and it can look up pretty good so it's actually got good movement with the head with this thing so I guess there's going to be another piece that this fits into hopefully it will make the figure a little more solid but as it is like I said this uh, shoulder pieces are just kind of a rubber material so for the figure itself I actually think that Mattel has done a decent job with the sculpting on this figure face sculpt is not too bad uh, the skin tones, the paint on the skin tone is a little off, at least on my figure. I think it's way too pale, but the sculpt itself, I think they've done a pretty nice job with. And the overall suit and you know, body, I think they've done a nice job. You've got some wash work on this figure to give it that uh, kind of leather look to it as well, and some texturing here on the um, upper torso. So overall, this is not too bad of a figure. Now, I do have some kind of, I don't know what this splotch is um, down here on his... Uh, uh, waist section is but uh, other than that you know it's pretty solid paint job the back of the figure doesn't have as much wash work on it as the front but otherwise it's it's pretty nicely detailed you've got the gold trim on back there you do have a lot of writing there on his butt but otherwise it looks pretty good from behind and on the front here going down his leg uh, the gold trim is pretty nice so again and even on his boots down here they've got some you know they've got the gold trim and stuff so overall I think they've done a pretty decent job with this one um, as far as the the paint and and sculpting goes now there's actually two different versions of this figure that are out there there is the version that you see here that has the white flash symbol on his chest and this is more in keeping with the season two costume that you see him wear on the tv series but there's also one with the red flash symbol with the red background on the flash symbol as you saw in the first season of the tv series so basically there's a season one flash and a season two flash figure um, out there now I don't know which one is more rare I've seen them both I saw this I got this one at Toys R Us and I I have seen the one with the red shield at Target so again I don't know if one is more rare than the other but just be aware there are two different versions out there okay so this figure stands close to six inches maybe just a hair taller than six here's a comparison with the DC collectibles seven inch flash TV series figure and I would say the sculpting and paint applications are pretty good um, between the pretty equal between the two um, again the only thing off on my uh, this Mattel one is that I think the skin tone is way too pale but otherwise they're pretty close as far as uh, sculpting and, and paint applications now where the DC collectibles one wins and we'll look at in just a minute 
is with articulation. There's a size comparison between the three six inch multiverse figures. So we've got the Arrow TV series figure and Flash, which are about the same height, and then the Joker figure, which is a bit taller. Comparison with Mattel's classic Batman Adam West figure and one of the DCUC uh, Wonder Woman figures, and the DCUC figure is taller than both the Batman and Flash. For one more final comparison, here's a look at the Dawn of Justice Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman figures along with the Multiverse, Flash, and Arrow TV series figures if you kind of wanted to create your own cinematic universe makeshift Justice League team. Uh, and these fit in pretty good at scale-wise. Flash is the shortest of the bunch, but that kind of makes sense since this version of Flash is basically a, a you know very young flash. The articulation on this figure is probably the weakest part about it. As I mentioned before, the DC Collectibles one does have more articulation than this Mattel one. The head is just on a ball joint so he can look left and right, but he has no real up or down movement with the head. Arms are attached with their standard ball hinge joint, but that's really as far out as you can get the arm. Does have good rotation there at the shoulder. Has a single hinged elbow, so he can only bend his elbow about that much. Has swivel at the elbow. Has swivels at the wrist, but no hinges on the hands. The DC Collectibles one do have uh, hinges on the hands. No midsection joint. Uh, DC Collectible one does have a midsection joint. Now this one does have a waist swivel. The DC Collectible one does not have waist swivel. You've got those side hinge joints like you see on most DC uh, UC figures. So he can do the splits good, um, but can't really get as, that's about as far forward as you can get the leg. And then you can do the leg back pretty good. Does have a thigh swivel. Only a single hinged knee, the DC collectible one does have double hinged knees, and then you only have the hinges on the feet, so you have up and down movement with the feet, but there's no rotation and there's no ankle pivot. You have ankle pivot on the DC collectible one, and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Okay, so that's my review. Overall, I would say this is not a bad figure. It's definitely better than the Arrow TV series one that Mattel did. Now, if you were choosing between going with the DC collectibles one or this one, I would still probably stick with the DC collectible one but if you're an avid six inch collector then this one definitely has the advantage and it is kind of cool to mix up uh, this figure along with the arrow and then the like donna justice figures if you want to create that kind of cinematic universe for dc so this figure is out on shelves now. As I said, there's two different versions, one with the white and one with the red, and both are out on shelves now. We'll have a full gallery of images up at toynewseye.com. There's a link in the description below. And as always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. But until next time, I'll catch you later.